हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू द हार्ट गार्डियन पॉडकास्ट पॉडकास्ट फॉर हेल्दी हार्ट पावर्ड बाय बादबाग इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ प्रिवेंटिव कार्डियोलॉजी एंड महाराष्ट्र यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ हेल्थ साइंसेस आई एम योर होस्ट डॉक्टर अमन कपूर वेलकमिंग यू बैक टू दिस एपिसोड टुडे वी आर शेडिंग अ लाइट ऑन द कंडीशन दैट मेनी माइट नॉट बी अवेयर ऑफ पेरिफेरल आर्टीरियल डिजीज और पी This disease affects the arteries away from the heart like those in the legs arms and even the brain and can have serious consequences if left untreated To help us understand more about PAD its symptoms its treatments we have with us Dr Jagdish Hiramat sir an eminent cardiologist the chair of preventive cardiology at Maharashtra University of Health Sciences Welcome back Dr Hiramat sir I would request you to please explain us in an easy to understand language what peripheral arterial disease is and why is it so important to catch it early over to you sir peripheral arterial disease as the name suggests is a disease of the arteries which are away from the heart that is at the periphery we know that arteries of the heart that is the coronary arteries when they get affected it results into a heart attack peripheral arteries means arteries going to the brain arteries going to the kidneys and of course going to the legs right up to the toes it's a convention that the peripheral arterial disease pad generally relates to disease of the arteries of the leg but today's discussion we shall include all peripheral arteries mentioned above there could be some rare diseases which affect the arteries but we are not going to discuss that commonest cause of peripheral arterial disease pad is atherosclerosis we have heard this terminology several times atherosclerosis is a disease in which bad cholesterol that is the ldl cholesterol deposits take place slowly over a period of time blocking the arteries progressively over a period of years one day a blood clot forms on top of this cholesterol deposits and it blocks the artery completely when the artery is blocked 70 to 75% the person who would get some discomfort only as using that organ for example if the heart is used too much by way of exercising or climbing up stairs there could be chest discomfort called angina this happens when the coronary artery is blocked about 70 to 75% for the arteries of the leg if the major artery is blocked say 75 to 80% the person can experience what is called as claudication this is a counterpart of angina that we would discuss when the person is sitting in one place without the use of leg muscles partial blood flow is adequate and there are no symptoms however if the person walks a distance blood supply flowing through the partially blocked arteries becomes inadequate and the muscles of the legs especially the calf muscles feel the lack of adequate blood flow the calf muscles get heavy and they start aching and this phenomena is known as claudication as the person sits down the work done by the muscles goes down and the discomfort of the calf muscle disappears this may be confused at times with the pain coming from the spine the spine pain typically comes on prolonged standing and claudication comes on walking this is a simple way of distinction between the two if at this stage peripheral artery disease is not diagnosed one day it will lead to a totally blocked artery leading to a medical emergency like a heart attack the limb the toes will get excruciating pain if not treated well it will turn black and blue and with result into gangrene of the toes and might lead to horrendous treatments like amputation of the fingers and legs the pad is a spectrum of asymptomatic mild disease right up to the critical ischemia in which the limb is threatened to get into gangrene at any point of time diagnosis is desirable and the treatment can be extremely effective if such a phenomena occurs in the brain that results into transient ischemic attack tia of the brain wherein transiently the patient feels difficulty in speech or blindness of the one eye or similar symptoms of the brain if not diagnosed at this stage one day the artery may get clogged completely resulting to a major paralysis or a brain attack 
the process of atherosclerosis is a well-known phenomena. It occurs because of the risk factors like diabetes, high blood pressure, smoking and high cholesterol. All these risk factors, when they come together, they increase the risk exponentially and lead to these blockages. Over a period of time, the arteries get clogged with LDL cholesterol, leads to narrowing of the lumen of the arteries progressively. Treatment of the arteries is similar to the treatment of atherosclerosis. Actually, the leg artery can be treated by angioplasty, like coronary arteries, and stents can be put in the leg arteries also. Drug-coated balloons are also available as a methodology of treatment for the leg arteries. In case the blockages are not suitable for angioplasty, bypass surgery of the legs can be performed when in the blood from the healthy area before the block is lifted and transported down to the healthy area beyond the blockage. Thus, highly effective angioplasties and complex surgeries of the leg can be used to salvage the limb and the person can have a decent lifestyle. When a person comes to us with multiple risk factors like diabetes, blood pressure, smoking, we always make it a point to examine arteries of the leg. There are investigations to differentiate between low blood supply to the leg arteries, peripheral Dopplers and CT angiographies which look at the blockages. CT angiography is the most precise diagnosis related to the blockages. Based on this, medical treatment or angioplasty or bypass of the legs can be planned. Apart from treating the limbs for the lack of blood supply and relieving the symptoms and preserving the limbs, treatment of risk factors like diabetes, blood pressure are crucial. Blood thinners like aspirin are also important along with cholesterol-lowering drugs, the statins. If the person has peripheral arterial disease in India, it means his atherosclerosis is quite advanced and he is likely to have disease of the coronary arteries and probably of the brain that is the carotid arteries. This polyvascular disease is a dangerous one and needs to be treated aggressively. Good medical treatments are available and wherever required, salvage can be offered by mechanical treatments like angioplasty and surgeries. Person with PAD must have a body weight which is close to ideal. Sugar should be well controlled. Blood pressure should always be below 130 systolic. And LDL cholesterol should be below 55 mg where the normal value is 100. There should be a total abstinence from tobacco consumption of any kind an appropriate medication needs to be used almost lifelong to stay comfortable despite the peripheral arterial disease. The entire narration looks as if we are describing the heart arteries, angina, heart attack and the treatment. But truly that is the case. The same disease of atherosclerosis when it affects the limbs, the arteries outside the heart, it is known as PAD. And worsening of the disease also depends on similar risk factors like diabetes, blood pressure, tobacco and high cholesterol. The identification of the disease is based on Doppler studies and angiographies. The treatment depends on the severity of the blockages, where it would be mechanical treatment or just continuing on medical treatment. All in all, it's not a good disease to have. But PAD, if diagnosed early and if treated adequately, the person can have number of years despite the presence of PAD. Thank you so much sir for guiding us and giving us information about PAD and allaying our fears about it. My dear friends, take care and keep your health in check so that any problem can be catched early and the best would be to prevent the problems from arising. Stay healthy, stay fit and fine and share this knowledge with everyone that you care. Share it on your social media, follow this podcast series if you are not yet following it and till the next episode, stay healthy, fit and fine. This is your friend Dr. Aman Kapoor signing over and out. Bye-bye.